while since my last unboxing video and I don't really have anything to take out of the box. Today I'm going to show you the results of making a custom Dakimakura pillow from AnimeDakimakuraPillow.com. It was a toss up between using them or Moe Market. I wasn't able to find any reviews on Moe Market and the lack of any kind of reviews or any kind of promotion or anything kind of made me uncomfortable. So I decided to go with Anime Dakimakura Pillow. This video is not a promotion for them. This video is not sponsored by them. They did not give me any free products. Um, this is just me putting a review out there for anyone who, like me, wants to make their own custom Dakimakura and put their artwork onto a pillowcase. This is the result of ordering my custom-made Dakimakura through AnimeDakimakuraPillow.com. Um, hopefully you'll be able to relate and also use this video as a reference to see if you would like to make your own anime pillow as well. So before we begin, some background. I know there's plenty of fans out there that are lonely in their fandom, and my particular fandom is Nightwalker. Nightwalker is, I'm gonna be honest, Nightwalker is not a great anime. Nightwalker is an anime that was aired in 1998 in Japan. It was a late night anime, so it was intended for teen to young adult audiences. Uh, it's 12 episodes long and um, not popular at all. I can honestly see why. But with its lack of popularity comes its lack of merchandise. And uh, so it's all up to me to create content. If I want it, I pretty much have to create it. There are maybe a handful of other people that are talented and are thankfully creating fanfics and art and that's about it. Maybe some merchandise on these characters, but when it comes to Nightwalker, you're down to me and a handful of other people. I found out about Nightwalker back in 2001. My friends and I were in high school and we went to the comic book store and there's this magazine, I still have it to this day, An America. An America featured all the latest new anime, all the new thing titles that were coming to VHS tape. One of the titles that they were promoting in An America, the January 2001 edition of An America, was an anime titled Nightwalker. All they had in the magazine was this tiny little blurb about Nightwalker uh, coming to video soon, but I fell in love with that purple hair instantly. Let's just face it, if anime characters were real, everyone would have mullets. Maybe it's just 90s anime characters, but for seriously, that hair though. That beautiful, long, luscious purple hair. So, needless to say, that purple hair got to me. I was like, I want to watch that. So, of course, my friend goes out and buys the VHS tape before me. She's like, here, you can borrow this. And I was grounded that weekend, and I remember sneaking down to the TV with the, v the VCR and watching it at 3 a.m. in the morning because I was grounded from TV for that weekend. Yeah, I was grounded. My parents grounded me even into high school. But I watched that anime and I was just hooked from that day forward on this character. Who knew it would become such a weird, obscure fandom? But there you go. You can't pick what you like. It's actually based off a 1993 PC game, which is... I don't want to say it's hentai, but it's definitely Arrow. No, it's hentai. It's definitely hentai. The PC game was popular enough, I guess, to be turned into an anime five years later, and it featured pretty much all the same characters of Riho, Yayoi, and Shido. You know what? I haven't even mentioned who my fandom is. It's Shido with the purple hair. That's the name of the guy with the purple hair. He's the one that I'm making content for. If there's anyone else out there who's talented, who also enjoys Nightwalker, hook me up, please. I've gone off on a tangent down memory lane, and now I don't know where I'm at. Pillows, fandom, obscure, making my own content. Ah, yes, 
Thankfully, I have a very understanding husband. So when I told him, hey, you know what I want? I need a Huspondo pillow. I call it Huspondo. Yes, husbando and waifu, Huspondo. I need a Huspondo pillow. I want it to have Shido on it. He's a very supportive husband. Thank God for my husband. He's like, cool, whatever you want to do. And so I decided to go out and make myself my own Shido Dakimakuro pillow. So let's get to the specifics of the program that I used to draw it and make the art and the dimensions and all that good stuff if you want to make your own Dakimakura pillow. When I ordered my custom made Dakimakura, I went to ADP's custom made part of the website here. Uh, I went to, with the two-way tricot for the material and the 160 by 50 centimeter for the size of the pillow. You'll see that they have a tiny comment box which they want you to use if your file is too large to upload there in their provided choose file option. So I saved my pillow as a TIFF, T-I-F file to ensure that the art quality would stay sharp and I did because I didn't want to squash it down into a JPEG and lose that quality. The TIFF file didn't fit into their little choose file upload. So I uploaded the art files into my Google Docs and then created a shareable link. And then I just pasted that link into the comment box. Uh, it was messy, but it worked out in the end. So for my art, I use Clip Studio Paint. I do my work on my Surface tablet and I've really grown to love this setup. As you can see, I have made the front and the back of the pillow as separate files which I made to the dimensions that were recommended to me on Moe Market. They recommended that for a 160 by 50 centimeter pillow to set the DPI to 150 and the dimensions at 2,953 by 9,449 pixels. Uh, here's some close-ups on the artwork so we can compare them to the finished pro product later. Ta-da! So here's one of the sides of the pillows. And I am very pleased with how it turned out. I don't have an actual pillow to put inside the cover. That's on its way. But as you can see, let me do a close up. I went with the two way tricot. Might as well. What the heck? And. I went with the 160 by 50 centimeter, as I said, and um, yeah, the quality is great. The material kind of feels like how it does spandex, a high quality bathing suit. It's not soft or fuzzy, it's zippy, it's zippy feeling. but. Anyway, so, yeah, let's see if we can get in close here. Yeah, as you can see, it transferred, it printed really well. None of the original quality was lost in the printing. Using a TIFF file worked out great. So I'm really pleased with how that went. the other side of it. Gotta have a side with blushy cheeks. There's a close-up of what it looks like. It's just a wrinkle there. But, yep. Yes. Cheeto is a vampire. You gotta have a vampy side. But, And thus ends my review of AnimeDakimakuraPillow.com. So yeah, it went great. Yay, thank goodness. So I wish the best of luck to all you artists and all you lonely people in your fandoms out there. 
I hope you get what you want and I hope you enjoy your Dakimakura as much as I enjoy mine. Thank you.